Hey there, Cancer. It's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. How y'all doing? It's been a minute. This is a mid-month-ish type reading for the sign of Cancer. And, uh, you know, I get some comments sometimes where people say, why don't you put out at the first of the month and the 15th of the month? Well, I got to tell you, um, number one, I'm not a robot. Number two, I have to be led to read your cards. If I sit down at the first and the 15th and crank out a reading, I could, but they're shallow and they're superficial. I literally will be led to read for a sign, you know, and so I, I rush home, finish what I'm doing, I rush home and I put out a reading. So this is your reading, Cancer. I'm sorry that it is not point on for mid-month, but this reading belongs to whomever this resonates with at this particular time. If it would have been a few days earlier or a few days later, um, we might have missed the point. So anyway, this reading is for you. As usual, this is a general reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, or any other cancer that you may have in your chart anywhere. So this is a reading for you. It's a general reading. Do not ever plan your life or trust your future to a general reading, okay? These are general readings. If you'll notice, there's a common thread that goes through the tarot card readings on YouTube for the most part. Um, that's because that's the overall energy. I can't tell you how many readings I've done for folks where they come and they say, I've been watching YouTube readings, mine and everybody else's, right? I've been watching YouTube readings and I know this is going on in my life. And we'll do a reading where the cards are specifically geared towards them and their energy and their situation. And it has an overtone of a general reading, but the cards are very, very different for their own personal story and it blows their mind. So anyway, don't entrust your future, your planning, your decisions, anything like that to a general tarot card reading. If you'd like a general tarot, a general, if you'd like a tarot card reading, please contact your favorite tarot card reader and hopefully that would be me. I do have a $50 YouTube special out there um, because I am loyal to you guys like you are loyal to me. However, if you need a personal reading, contact me or whomever it is that does it for you and schedule a personal reading. Don't make decisions off of a general reading. So anyway, that being said, we're going to talk about this reading. It's pretty short and sweet, direct and to the point. So let's see what these cards have to say for you guys today. So Cancer, we open this reading with the death card right there, right? There's going to be an ending, a change, a transformation. Okay, don't know what that is yet because it's the first card out. So the death card and the card of Scorpio, it may mean something, it may not. So an ending, you're putting an ending to a two of cups situation. Two of cups is all about unified love, partnerships and relationships. So you are putting an ending to a relationship in your life. The Four of Swords tells me that you've given this a lot of thought, right? This guy in the olden days, you know, when your man went out to battle, you just automatically bought a casket because chances are he wasn't coming back, right? Well, this guy, being the warrior that he is, made it back from battle. And now he's resting on top of his coffin, giving thanks to his powers that be that he survived the battle. Now, he has three swords hanging on the wall as a trophy in the background, but he still has one sword that he's keeping by his side. And what he's doing in this card is he's thinking and contemplating if it's worth another fight or not, right? And that's what you're doing right here. You're putting an end to a relationship in your life, but you've given it a lot of thought and you've decided with these cards that it's not worth the fight anymore. It's just not worth the fight to you. So you are going to take some action with the Prince of Swords to leave somebody out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. Like I said, it's not a decision that you're taking lightly because there you are with the Four of Cups contemplating and reevaluating once again, right? followed by the Six of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands is about victory, progress, and self-confidence. Three of Pentacles, teamwork and collaboration, right? But on the flip side of the Six of Wands, the Six of Wands talks about a, a 
fall from grace, right? Disrepute. So that's kind of what you're thinking about right here is that you're not making progress in the situation or you don't want to make progress in the situation because somebody has fallen from the good graces of you, Cancer. Three of Pentacles comes in and says you're not interested in teamwork and collaboration anymore. You're just, you're just so done with the whole situation. Two of Swords comes in and says two things, that you have a lot of indecision, confusion, maybe not indecision, more I think confusion and maybe some blocked emotions because whenever we're going to leave somebody out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles, there's always that tug, right? Is this the right decision? Is this really what I want to do? This relationship sucks, but golly, I see so much potential in this person or in this relationship, right? And that's kind of what you're going through here in the Four of Cups. Well, you decide once and for all that, you know, you're just going to walk away. You're just going to walk away that this relationship in your eyes is just hopeless. You don't want to engage anymore. You don't want to put in the work that's necessary. And for some reason, this person or situation with the Two of Cups has fallen from the good graces of cancer. This devil energy. This tells me that you are releasing limiting beliefs about an attachment in your life that is restricting your personal growth. That's what that devil card tells me. The world comes in and says that you want to start a whole new chapter. You want to leave this whole situation out in the cold. You want to walk away and you really want to, to begin to transform into, into growth in your life, right? The world card says that one life cycle is ending, a new life cycle is beginning, and you are going to write a new chapter in your life. Seven of Cups crosses both of these and says that there's choices and decisions that you need to make. Choices and decisions about what it is you're going to do with yourself with the Eight of Pentacles. What are you going to do with yourself now, Cancer? How are you going to proceed from this point forward? This Eight of Pentacles is about trying to gain mastery. It's about um, putting your attention into something that is going to be this new chapter in your life right here, right? Because you're leaving a restrictive situation that has been hampering your personal growth. You're releasing those limiting beliefs, the, the limiting beliefs that you had about this situation. And you're headed on down the road with the world card, about to start a brand new life cycle for yourself. The star card comes in and says that there is hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in your life on the horizon. Because with the fool, you're about to take a brand new journey in your life. You're about to step out in faith and take a brand new journey in your life. Because you see your future being so much better than your past. This was a tower moment, right? This, this, this decision to take action, to leave this person out in the cold, move forward in your life to create a new chapter, to write a whole new story about yourself, right? Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal, taking a journey, the tower. So a tower moment, this was this tower moment right here, or is this tower moment if you haven't gotten to it yet, right? This tower moment, is all about, it could be about reuniting and reconciling with someone from your past. It could be, it could be. But this tower moment, this situation up here literally tilled up the foundation by which you were standing in this relationship. The Six of Cups represents memories, nostalgia, everything that's familiar to you, family, children, right? So this tower moment literally was an upheaval in the foundation of what you thought was, you know, your, your life at the moment. And how do I really know that this isn't reconciling and reuniting? Well, <coughs> excuse me, cancer. Um, it could be reconcil reconciling and reuniting with a queen of pentacles, earth energy type character. But what this queen of pentacles speaks to me 
is it reiterates the six of cups. It reiterates that it, it, it was an upheaval in the very foundation of your home life in your security, right? The Prince of Wands comes in and says, you're feeling passionate. You're feeling energetic, right? Action, adventure, you know, just kind of just feeling really, really good about yourself because with the sun card, you're, you're happy. You're seeing things clearly. You're seeing things for what they are. And now you understand what will make you happy in life. Two of Wands comes in and says, planning for your future, making progress, making decisions, doing discovery, right? Maybe a tinge of the fear of the unknown, but it's, it's almost like an exciting kind of fear of the unknown with the Prince of Wands right there, right? You're going to go forward and you're going to pursue your passions, your passions. You're writing this new chapter in your life right here with the world card and you're going to move forward recreate the foundation of your life temperance comes in and says that this is is not a, a willy-nilly decision right because with the four of swords you thought about it hard four of cups you're reevaluating again right and fours by the way indicate structure and foundation and stability Right. So that's what that's what this is all about for you is creating stability and structure in your life. Because remember, I said the foundation of everything was an it is or will be in upheaval as you leave this situation up here. So temperance comes in and says that there's balance, moderation, patience where there was an imbalance. Now there's balance. Right. You're doing some self-healing and some realignment. Of, of who you are. You're finding yourself again. The wheel. Beautiful. 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 The wheel underneath the world. Underneath the five of pentacles, may I add. Right? So leaving somebody out in the cold creates a brand new chapter in your life. The, the wheel comes in and says, this is a turning point in your destiny. This card is about good luck karma, life cycles, and a turning point in your life. Into the Nine of Pentacles, single, self-sufficient, independent individual, right? This girl, she in this card, she's, she's a falconeer, right? She sells falcons. You see that falcon on her hand right there? I mean, not everybody wants to buy falcons, but when you do, this is the girl that you go to, right? She's a successful, independent um, single person. And that's who you're turning into right there. And you're good with it. The thing is that you're good with it. I don't see, I don't see, you know, all kinds of negativity and conflict in these cards. You're good with the decision that you made to walk away from this situation up here, to have a new beginning and a new journey, hope, faith, purpose, on the horizon for you, writing a new chapter for your life, a turning point in your destiny. Seven of Swords comes in and says where there was betrayal, deception, and general shady behavior. You are breaking free from those mental challenges and you're coming into your own and you are headed on down the road of life to create yourself to recreate yourself right to recreate yourself and you're feeling really good about it you really are i mean there's a little bit of sadness here with the eight of cups you know five of pentacles that's always not a good thing but for the most part there's just beautiful cards right here for you beautiful cards right here for you and apparently you're doing the right thing by by leaving that restrictive attachment that you have in the past and pursuing who it is. Look, the Knight of Pentacles, just trucking right along, slow and easy, planning your life, slow and easy, just, just heading out and doing what it is that you need to do for you, Cancer. What else? Anything else? Yeah, this the, the Six of Pentacles. This is about giving and receiving and prosperity and sharing, right? And that's what you're going to do. Anything else you want to say here, Tarot, for Cancer? Any last... Yeah, you have choices and options in your life, right? 
choices and options. Look, you got seven golden cups right there, and they're all filled with something different. You can create yourself to be anything that you want to be, Cancer. Anything that you want to be is at your fingertips. You have so many choices and so many options about what it is that you're going to do with yourself. Taking on the energy of the Queen of Pentacles, right? Going to, to build. The Queen of Pentacles is a builder. She's going to build. You, Cancer, are going to build your empire. And you're going to have security. And, you know, right back here to this Queen of Pentacles where this tower moment totally wiped out the foundation of, of the breadbasket of your life, right? There you are recreating this breadbasket of your life. Because with the Five of Cups... You're not going to sit around and be down in the mouth about loss and regret and disappointment and despair. Nuh uh uh uh. You're going to pick up those three spilt cups that, that got accidentally kicked over in this relationship right here. Yeah, it's a bummer because now you got to walk 500 miles to go fill them up again, right? But nevertheless, you have the spirit and the wherewithal to pick up those three cups, pick up the full ones behind you, and very carefully proceed into the future to fill these cups again, right? You're moving on. You're accepting what was, giving forgiveness where forgiveness is due, and moving on down the road of your life, Cancer. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful reading. Formulating a plan, right? With the Page of Swords. Formulating a plan, figuring out where you're going to go, what you're going to do, how you're going to get there, and boom, the Ten of Cups comes in. This Ten of Cups is all about harmony, happiness, and values alignment in your life, in your relationships. Where there was a misalignment of values, now you're going to now you're going to realign and re reassess the situation and have harmony in your life. Where there was disharmony before, there is now harmony in your life. Anything else? Any other words of advice or con any, anything you want to say, Tarot, about cancer? I'm trying not to drop these cards in my coffee cup. <laughs> anything else, Tarot, that you want to say for cancer before we close it up here? Because this is a good reading. Anything else? That one kind of looked like a jumper. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. You're going to go on like that Five of Cups right there, right? You're going to go on, you're going to pick up your cups, and you're going to find some place else to offer your feels. Some place else to offer your feels. You're going to be your own knight in shining armor. You're going to be self-sufficient, and you're not playing with whatever this situation was anymore up here. You're just not playing with it. King of Wands comes in and says, success is eminent. You're feeling good. You're feeling cocky. You're feeling like you could conquer the world, right? You know your self-worth and it's not up here. It's not in this attachment that was restricting your personal growth. It's not in that. It's not in that. Ace of Wands, look at that. You are, you, are, it, you are after a powerful, creative, inspired new beginning in your life, Cancer. Those are beautiful cards. Beautiful cards. Planning for your future. Leaving someone out in the cold. Look at that. That's a beautiful reading, Cancer. There you go. If this resonated with you, that's awesome. But don't trust your future or make decisions based on this reading. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com forward slash YouTube slash subscribers. The link is in the box below. Yes, I have a website just for you guys. Um, anyway, reach out if you'd like a personal reading. Otherwise, good luck with all of this, and um, I'm proud of you. Namaste.